Yeah, we got a picture of her. This is my good luck. Good luck. Fly away, little bird. Fly. Okay. Parito. Okay, this. I wish my mother can be here. So, I don't send a message to my mother. Sound too. <laughs> Place there. Here's music. And check with him. Okay. Now, this is the thing. Now, when I play the cassette tape. This is where I got this thing set in, like this. Okay. Okay, I want to Okay. Eat. Four o'clock. Four? Four. Three <laughs> drinks in the bar. Huh? Three drinks in the bar. Yeah. Here we 
we go. Beloved, for as much as Mary is a holy estate, ordained by God, and to be held in honor by all those who enter therein, it becomes those who enter therein to weigh with reverent minds what the Word of God teaches concerning marriage. The Lord God said it is not good for man should be alone, therefore I will make a helper for him. And our Lord Jesus Christ said, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them both male and female? And said, For this reason, shall a man be father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they, having been two, shall become one flesh. And St. Paul, speaking by the Holy Spirit, in the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, says, About love, I may be able to speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but if I have not love, my voice is no more than a noisy dance, gong or a tiny symbol. I may have all understanding, I may have all wisdom, I may have all faith, that to remove mountains. But if I have not love, it is of no avail. I may give away all I have. I may give away my body to be burned. But if I have not love, it is of no value. Love is patient, kind. Love is not, love is not jealous or boastful or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. But rather, love bears up in all circumstances. Love endures in all circumstances. Love believes in all circumstances. And he concludes the chapter with these words. So faith, hope, love, abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. And Leonard and Francis come now to be united in holy wedlock in this estate that more than any other signifies the gift of God's love to us. So I ask if there's anyone here who can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak. 
but I'll forever hold his peace. Who gives us so much to be married to this man? I do. Thank you.